Right, so here we go again, another exciting instalment of Prison Architect, the Alpha release videos. Uh, this time we're bringing you Alpha 17. Alpha 17. Wow. 17 long months of working on this beast, yeah. this behemoth. Do you see anything new? Uh, do I see anything? Ah, it's an armory! There's an armory. What There's is this? They're bees. They're not bees, they're... Are they tasers? They're tasers, mate. What's that? Is that a what is that? Is that a baseball that's bat? That's like a that's a that's a truncheon, a, a nightstick. Yeah. Stick, yeah. A, 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 there's a shotgun, a boomstick, yeah. mate. That's, boomstick. Yeah. There's yeah. a, there's is a that sniper, sniper rifle. Sniper rifle. <laughs> yeah. There's there's a uh, there's a uh, body armor. Body armor. Yeah. Um, some I probably set some there. bad expectations up there because you can't have all those guns in the game yet. Ah, teasing the fans again. Mate. Yeah, teasing but we'll get there. And there are guard lockers. This is a new room type, right? So you can create an armory. And um, it needs to have weapons racks, and it needs to have guard lockers. Right. And once you have these things, you can deploy armed guards to your prison. Really? Right? Yeah. And why would you want to deploy armed guards to your prison? Well, let's put one in, shall we? You want to blow shit up, man? No, you don't. They don't blow shit yeah. up. Yeah. Here we go. Here's our armed guard. Isn't he cool? Ah, uh, he is cool. <laughs> you can see that his weapon is stowed on his back. Okay. Let's send him into this canteen. Now, put in a few other. You might have noticed there that when the armed guards went into this canteen, it was a bit rowdy when they went in. Yes, I thought I was wondering about that. It was a bit rowdy, and then once the armed guards walked in, everyone's gone quiet. Oh, funny that, isn't it? No, we're just eating peacefully. Yeah. <laughs> What's well, that one doing in the bottom right? He's no just staring any... at Wolven. <laughs> <laughs> just staring at him. Just staring him out. No one's causing any trouble now, are they? You right. eating your gruel, Wolven? You really need to crawl. <laughs> yeah. So what, what's happening here then is that the, these armed guards, right? They because they're armed and because prisoners know they're going to get their heads blown off if they play their cards wrongly. Yeah. These guys have a tremendous intimidating effect on prisoners yeah. around them. Right? right. Prisoners are scared by these guys. Okay. Um, but in in the same breath as that. If two prisoners started fighting in here, it doesn't necessarily mean these armed guards are just going to suddenly go like, yeah, boom, boom, you know, because right, that's right. just not how it works, right? Yeah, yeah. The reality is that they, they create an intimidation effect, but they will not shoot your prisoners dead unless you give them explicit permission to do so. Right. You, right. the player, have to handle the responsibility of when to use lethal force for your armed guards. Yeah, okay, that sounds good, man. That sounds good, like rules of engagement. Yeah, rules of engagement. So, you know, a common use for them would be to create some armed patrols, like this, yep. for example. Yep. And those two guards, you could assign them to an armed patrol, and yep. they, will just, they will just walk around the yard looking mean. Okay, yeah. <laughs> looking badass. Yeah, exactly. And so we have this thing called a suppression effect, right? Right. It used to, you get it, yeah. when, a, when a prisoner yeah. mis misbehaves and gets thrown in solitary, yeah. they get suppressed, they get kind of beaten down by the system effectively. Yeah. Um, and it, you don't get much of it because there aren't usually many prisoners in, in solitary, there's one. Yeah. Right? Yeah. He, you can see he's heavily suppressed. Yeah. Your armed guards create the suppression effect on every prisoner nearby. Okay. So the prisoners that are constantly seeing armed guards all around them, they're just going to be suppressed all the time. Yeah. Um, and they will that has a corresponding effect on their morale right they don't now we don't we're treading into ground here where we don't really we haven't really finished the end game of the system yet so there isn't really any concept of like reform in your prisoners yet yeah not but in the game only in our minds only in our minds but if you built a prison that was everyone was suppressed heavily and the armed guards everywhere and you ruled the place by hard force all the time your prisoners would never really be amenable to education programs or yeah, reform yeah. programs of any kind yeah, it's like when you think back to that really strict teacher, you know, and you didn't learn things because you were so terrified. Yeah, exactly. You know, you're, you're not learning anything, exactly. right? Because you're scared that you're going to, you know, you've not written a correct entry in your homework diary or whatever it was at your school. Yeah, exactly that. And you'll get held for detention. Yeah. <laughs> um, but, you know, they, they, are, they are a very effective form of crowd control. And especially right. after a major incident or something like that, you can deploy armed guards. Right. And um, it really locks down the place. Like sometimes you get fights occur, and then it looks like it's going to it's going to lead into a full scale riot. You know, okay. if you deploy okay. some riot guards quickly, you can stop it. The yeah. second okay. most common use for them would be to deploy an armed guard all the way out here by your okay. entrance. Right. Someone needs to open that door. Let's put some guards down there. What's that big weird shadow? It seems to be cast by that tree. It's a tree, isn't it? 
That tree, that appe- tree appears to be casting a giant rectangular shadow over the area. <laughs> Today's bug. <laughs> so an armed guard outside your front door, for example, is a good idea because he will, you know, it stops anybody from yeah, escaping. Yeah. It's like a last line of defense. It's like a, a base defense, you know? Yeah. Um, and you could, uh, you, could have him, <laughs> you could have him like this the whole time, I suppose. So he's weapons free now. So that means that if anyone comes into his sphere of... Uh, Right. Influence. He's going to blow him away. If he sees a misbehaving prisoner, if he sees an escaping prisoner making a run for it, yeah. I've given him permission to shoot by clicking okay. that button. Right. Okay. If I unclick that button and uh, I take away his permission to shoot, he'll stow his weapon and he'll okay. do his best with fists. So can he can he only shoot like maximum security prisoners, or will he just shoot anybody? He will shout warnings at prisoners if they are like if they're smashing up their cell. He won't just walk in and blow their face off. Yeah, okay, you know, but on the front on the front door, if they're escaping and if they're yeah. outside the jail, which is what this area is, he'll shoot. Okay. Because they're outside the jail, right? They're they're a few meters away from a full-on escape. If you okay. click the weapon three burn, he will shoot them at that point. Okay. Um, okay. But if you're inside the prison and a couple of prisoners start fighting, for example, he won't just go up and shoot the first and then reload and shoot the second. <laughs> <laughs> that, that wouldn't be right. No, that, wouldn't, that would be ex- too extreme. He'll yeah, shout warnings yeah. at them. And if they attack yeah. him, he'll shoot. And if, yeah, if, yeah, they that's attack, fair enough. if they attack staff members, he'll shoot. Um, okay. But the rest of the time, he'll shout warnings. And again, what happens if staff members attack him? Well, staff members don't attack oh, okay. other staff members. Okay. <laughs> uh, other than at the Christmas party. <laughs> DLC, DLC. The sorry. Christmas Party DLC. Where Prison Architect Christmas Party DLC, the day after. The, yeah, the day armed after. guards all get drunk. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so shall we look at a scenario of armed guards in action? Let's, let's turn it up to the max. Yeah. Can we turn it up to the max? The real extreme? Let's, let's, let's go to an extreme scenario. All right, here we go. We have an extreme scenario here. Is a ride on the way, 87 a, prisoners riding. We have 87 prisoners riding. More to the point, we have these are maximum security prisoners, right? You can see right, they, right. they take no prisoners. Right? Yeah, this gardener. is a slightly contrived riot scenario that we've created for um, testing purposes. Yeah, but it, but okay. You get the idea. These guys are not, not, in, the, they're not in the mood to talk, Yeah. really. And, and normally, normally you would just send in your, your riot guards in here now, right? Riot guards is a very good way to suppress this crowd. Yeah, yeah a, okay. very, a very good way to stop the riot. Um, but for the purposes of demonstrating our armed guards, I think that it's a good scenario. Well, now we've, we've got another option, right? You can yeah. use your, your, yeah. um, your riot guards or you can use your armed guards. So Absolutely. let's send in some armed guards. Absolutely. Hoorah! Uh, come back here. All right, so a couple of armed guards. So let's see what happens. Let's send them in. Without so giving them permission to fire. Get messy, right? man. So it's I have not given messy. them permission to fire. You haven't given them permission nope. to fire. Because I want to see what happens if we don't. And so you can see that their, their weapons are still stowed and they're firing yeah. with their fists. Yeah. Well, they must they must be angry with you, man. <laughs> I've got a shotgun on my back and I'm Exactly. It's like let me I'm free, man. Let me I know, free. I'm injured. I'm injured. <laughs> Give me the keys, man. Give me the keys. <laughs> oh, it's see. Oh. Oh. They're dying, man. Get them out of there. Oh. Now you may have, they, they did actually fire, didn't they? Right at the end there, like when they, fe- they when they feared for their lives, they got their shotguns out anyway. Even though I right, haven't ticked right. the weapons free burn, if they think they're about to die, they will fire anyway. Mate, you've done you've done an amazing thing. You've encoded human nature. I've encoded human nature. Right? There's no point. You can't put, deploy an armed guard and seriously expect him not to shoot if he's ever, if his ever, life's ever. in danger. Yeah, yeah. Right. And so that was obviously well. That was a disaster. That was really, a wasn't catastrophe, it? really. And now, and now there are shotguns in the uh, in the riot. And so, what happens if you set them weapons free? Should we Should we have a look? Yeah, let's have a look. All right. This This might go a little bit. Um, are there even any prisoners in there? Yeah, it's fog of war out. You can't see inside. Oh, okay, okay. This might go a little bit natural born killers on us. <laughs> <laughs> right, I've given them weapons free. Weapons free. Boom! There's no messing around now. Boom! Yeah. Now they'll still, they still won't just shoot everyone. Oh, they, they look at the shotgun blast in the wall. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's wicked, man. Oh, there you go. That was a warning. He got a warning. Oh, and he didn't obey it. C right. percent ZS is a warning, is it? That's a swear word. Okay. It's the same warning that other guards shout. Oh, see, yeah, now, okay, they're getting, okay, oh, now they're okay. attacking the armed guards, so they're not going to get any warning. If yeah. they're attacking the armed guards, they don't get any warning. Right? Okay, it's fair enough, I think. Yeah, absolutely. But um, if they're just smashing up some walls, then see the thing is the armed guards are now just basically intimidating all the other prisoners to the extent where they've got no choice but to attack. Right? I mean, every, oh, pri- every oh, prisoner's okay. attacking at this point. 
They're intimidating them to the point they attack. I used the wrong words there. They're um, angering the prisoners. A aggravating them. They're aggravating so angry. Them. Yeah, exactly. exactly. So this is quite an extreme scenario. It's a, it's a pretty extreme scenario. To, um, and we should make it clear, we're demonstrating the armed guards here, rather than suggesting this is a legitimate strategy. Yeah, yeah, okay. Because but it's probably quite good fun to play, right? It's a lot of fun to play, I've got to yeah. admit, but it, this is not a good way to put down your, uh, your riot. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know this is a video that we're going to be showing and saying prison architect is, is dangerous and bad and rubbish. Yeah, exactly. This is going to be. This is for our. This, this is what we're going to. This be is for defending. our Daily Mail article, isn't it? Yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah. So I mean, it's a contrived extreme example with maximum security prisoners, and they they did shout warnings at some of the first guys that were just yeah. smashing up their cells and things, but the warnings were not obeyed. So would I be right in thinking that if this was a minimum security war, uh, award? Or, or wing rather, they would be more likely to comply with the warnings. Correct. And when they got the warnings, yeah, they would surrender okay. and then they would be handcuffed. Okay, so there's, there's a second fairly major downside to having armed guards in your prison. Right, eh? And this is what it is. Right, now, here's a, here's a fairly ordinary prison in which we have decided to deploy armed guards. A standard prison in a neighborhood near you. Our standard test prison. What I'm going to do is I'm going to artificially spike their freedom need, which will drive You're them... You're gonna poke them with a stick. Yeah, it'll drive them up the wall. <sighs> now, while they decide to get all angry, let's um, talk about the armory, right? You have to have an armory on site right. if you want to have armed guards. I explained that earlier. You yeah. have to have weapons racks and you have to have guard lockers. What do you think the prisoners will do when there's a riot? I think they'll try and break into the armory. <laughs> Here they come, here they come, they're making a beeline for the armory. Yeah, so when there's a riot, some, not all, but your most violent, your most dangerous prisoners... Oh, that's not what you want. ...will make a beeline for your armory. And if oh, you've, mate, they've got through the first door. If you've secured it using a wussy green staff door... Oh, no! ...it won't take them very long to get in there. Oh, no. And when they get in there... Oh, well, no! Now you've got... <laughs> now you... <laughs> now you've got issues. Oh, that right. is not what you want that's, to see. That's not what you want to see, right? This is. Oh, we were talking about game Look overs. At them, some of them have got six shooters. Yeah, they can get. They can get shotguns. They can get pistols. Oh no! They're actually. Oh dear! Oh, they've killed that guard. So they're gonna. They're busting everyone out of um, out of solitary, aren't they? That's yeah, kind of, that's yeah. Interesting, that. Yeah. So I mean, they're they're still rioting, but they during a riot or during a mass escape, the armory becomes a primary target. So anyone that's nearby, like they won't come all the way over the map for it, but anybody that's reasonably nearby the armory and is a particularly dangerous prisoner, he'll just go straight for the armory and try and break in. Shit, man. So... Right, should we look at some new other features? Yeah, that sounds good. So, we've got some other things to have. We have a new room type um, called a forestry. Right? Okay. Now, do you remember in Alpha 16, we put in the ability to chop down trees? I do remember that, and, yes. Um, and then process them in your workshop. Yeah. <clears throat> into planks of wood. Well, now you can automate the process with a forestry. Okay. Um, you create a forestry and you need to have gardeners. It's gardeners that do the work. Right. Eventually, I am going to make it so that prisoners can work in the forestry as well. But you can yep. see that what happens is um, the forestry will automatically generate a lot of tree planting jobs. Okay. Like so. And a lot of trees will be delivered, well, tree saplings will be delivered to your jail. Yep. And your gardeners will plant, plant tree saplings for you. Okay. And it takes ages for tree saplings to grow now. In the last alpha, I just got it completely wrong, and they just they grew in like a day, and you could harvest millions of dollars worth of tree right. in like <laughs> 48 right, right. hours yeah, of, yeah, uh, yeah. of work. So I've changed that now. Um, but once the trees have reached fully grown, once they've reached a fully grown age, they'll automatically be cut down. Okay, as yeah. Well. And, um, and then the, the logs from the trees will be taken to your workshop and automatically processed into planks and more right. trees will be planted in the forestry. So it's like a sort of, it's like a, it's like a production zone, basically. It's, it's a, actually a very efficient way to make long-term income for your prison. Oh, I should mention that I, I've, I've got it sped up a little bit at the moment, so that's why these are growing at a ridiculous rate. <laughs> it's still growing quite quickly. Yeah, the, it, it takes five days for a tree to fully grow, but I've got it, <laughs> I've got it hacked high at the moment for testing. Okay, and video making. And video making. Now we got to the point where our objects menu was getting a little bit ridiculous, right? This is the objects list for the game now. See this list? Yeah, yeah. That's just ridiculous. Yeah, you know? yeah, and it's probably going to grow, isn't it? And it's just going to grow. And like for yeah. the so for the armory, for example, I might have not mentioned earlier that in order to have armed guards, 
oh, I did mention, didn't I, that you need to have yeah, an armory locks, yeah. with lockers and and weapon racks. That's two more objects I add to the list. Yeah. So we did do the system whereby useful objects automatically highlight. That's, yeah. That already happens. But I've made another improvement, which is that the toolbar now filters based on what's useful. Okay. So this is what the objects menu looks like when it's filtered. Right? Okay. So you can see, as you scroll around the map, it actually changes what it shows you. Oh, oh wow, mate. Right? That's good, isn't it? So here we're looking at the armory, and you can see the weapons wrap and the guard locker are included. Yeah, yeah. But as we scroll away from the armory, they vanish, and other objects highlight. Yeah, see? okay. Past the shower block, here's the canteen, and it always highlights the objects that are... It always highlights and shows the objects that you need for that room type. Yeah, okay. See? So it's more yeah, like a dynamic toolbar. Now, if you, if you want to place an object that's not in the list, yeah. um, then you can just click on this little plus button, and you get the full list. Okay, okay. See? That's good, mate. That's good. Nice user interface development. Yeah, nice bit of user interface. Yeah, lovely. Um, that is pretty much all of our new features. Well. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yep. So, as always, we'd love to get your uh, your feedback on Twitter, on Facebook, uh, on the forums, all the rest of it. Let us know what you think about this update. Uh, that was Prison Architect Alpha 17 update. If you're not already playing, uh, you can head over to prison-architect.com and, uh, and join in, or you can pick it up on Steam. Until next time, signing off. <laughs> Isn't that like no, the, the worst on? <laughs> The worst armed assault ever on any building ever. Right, she didn't fire a single shot because no. it wasn't. They weren't shotgun shells. They were a knitted jumper, like I said. <laughs> right. And then they got beaten up. That didn't work even slightly, did it? And now their prisoners are armed now. So that's. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! This is the worst video we've ever yeah. ever made. <laughs> now, anyway, so believe it or not, right? Believe it or not, um, that was intentional. <laughs> <laughs> that was intentional. <laughs> it's all right. I can spin this, man. I can spin this. Right, right. Go, on, go on, man. Get spinning. Right. <laughs>